What's going on YouTube? So today, a really quick video, it's gonna help you save time and money. We're gonna be changing the engine oil in my 2012 Yamaha R1. So first things first, let's get the bike running and get her up to temp. Once the bike is up to temp, that's just gonna thin out the oil a little bit and help it drain easier. I'm gonna let the bike idle up to about 70 degrees on the cluster, but don't get the bike too hot because the oil filter is in behind the exhaust manifold here. So bike is warmed up. We're just over 70 degrees on the cluster there. Don't get it too much hotter than 70 or else you're gonna be burning yourself on that front manifold. So while we let the manifold area cool down a little bit on the front, we're just going to undo these Allen keys along the bottom here. They're four mils, a couple of four mil Allens, and we're just going to pop the plastic off and start draining the oil and get that oil filter last. And then two in the front here as well. So we had five Allen keys total and this guy just popped right out. So we had three on the side and then two on the front. Now we have access to our drain plug. It's a 17 mil right on the bottom. And just don't lose your little washer on the end of this guy. Now while the bike's draining, let's go after the oil filter. So you can see it here, right behind the header, but it's a little bit tight to try and wiggle out on the right side. So let's hop over on the left and take those plastics off as well. I've tried to wiggle it out the right side here before. <laughs> But there's just not quite enough room. So same thing on this side. We're just going to do the two front screws here, two Allens, and the one on the back. Get those three screws out, and then just lightly pull this tab out of the rubber spacer there. It just gently pulls straight out. Now there's still not a ton of room, but we can just get our hands in there and it's been about five minutes now and it's cold enough where we're not going to burn ourselves. So we have the filter loose and unfortunately it drains right onto the exhaust of course. Thank you Yamaha. But we have just enough room to wiggle it outside here. It's barely enough space. So just barely, you have to squeeze it through towards the top portion of the header. So I'm running Amsoil 1040. I've always had good luck with it. Full synthetic and genuine Yamaha filters. Don't cheap out on filters, guys. There's the part number for the OEM. 
filter. These are really good quality filters. Come with a little bit of lube, but definitely add a little bit more engine oil to that too. Just because it is such a tight location in there. And definitely don't go tighter than hand tight, or else you're never going to get it back off. That's better. Now time to go on. All right, she's in, snugged up by hand. And now I'm gonna use a little bit of brake cleaner. And make sure you try and get all this oil off the exhaust, or else it's gonna smoke like crazy. So drain plugs back in, just putting our panels back on. If you're struggling with these panels and these little tabs, there's a fat side this tab slides into. So this tab is gonna slide into the fat side and then you slide it towards the back of the bike. They pop out really easy, but going in is a little bit harder. So the plastics are back on. I got four liters of 1040. I think it only takes about three, eight, definitely not four. So we'll, we'll find out shortly here. And just our oil fill on this side. There's no engine dipstick. There's just a sight glass. And there's a couple of marks there so you can see the add line here full line here just make sure your bike's on level ground and not sitting on the kickstand when you're checking this so we got about three and a half liters just over three and a half quarts and we're going to start her up and check the level because once i kind of lean the bike over here that oil level's getting pretty close, but you want to start it up. Make sure that oil filter is full of oil before you get a proper level check. Damn, this bike looks good. Good time to check for oil leaks too. All right, she's warm. Let's double check her level. You can see it came down quite a bit there. So we got top her up. So last fluid check here. We used all four of these containers. They are quarts, not liters. So four quarts or about 3.8 liters. And let's check our oil level one last time. That's pretty perfect. It's right where you want it. Nice and clean. She's ready for winter storage, as sad as that is. And that's a wrap, guys. So you only need a four mil Allen key, a 17 mil wrench or socket, and four quarts of oil. Hopefully that gives you a rough idea what you're in for if you're about to change your oil. Cheers, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.